Okay, guys, uh, Aaron Penn did a, a nice video on uh, <clears throat> the best, part of my voice, I think I'm losing it, <clears throat> the best uh, releases of 2014, and so I thought I would mimic that. Uh, mine are going to be almost totally different than his, but that's what makes the world go round, right? My voice is really bad. Sorry, I didn't realize. I just woke up. <clears throat> I've had some water. I haven't had any coffee yet, but uh, anyway... Let me proceed here with what I think, anyway, are some of the best releases of 2014. I'm going to start with the Criterion Collection, because a lot of folks know I'm I a big collector of the Criterion Collection. So let me, let me talk about the ones I think. You know, I could have picked a lot of different ones than I picked. I could have picked Red River. I could have picked Persona. Uh, there's just a lot of them that I that I could have chosen that I, that I didn't. Uh, but that doesn't mean I don't think they're great releases. Um, not at all. I just picked some that, that stood out for me. First one is it's a mad, 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 mad world. One I wasn't going to buy, but uh, Stanley Kramer uh, directed this sucker. And uh, let me tell you something. There's Everybody in the world is in this thing, I think. It's just a, one of these madcap things. But look at, the, look at the special features on this thing. Unbelievable. It's just a slapstick, uh, you know, race for some cash. I think it's 163 minutes. It's... Uh, you could, I'm not going to read all this stuff, but excerpt from a 74 talk show uh, with some of the stars. You've got uh, Billy Crystal hosting a 2012 uh, film festival. Uh, just amazing, amazing stuff here. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's a fun movie, and so it makes my list of uh, top criterions. These are in no order, by the way. Uh, the Big Chill. I always love this movie. It just came out not that long ago. Um, of course, Lawrence Kasdan is the director. You can see some of the Jeff Goldblum and uh, Tom Berenger and just uh, oh, Kevin Klein. A wide variety. Glenn Close. A uh, wide variety of uh, stars. Mary Kay Place, Meg Tilly, Joe Beth Williams. Uh, yeah, that's, I think I've got everybody on the cover there. Uh, just other oh, they are here. Again, you've got a fair share of uh, extras on this one. So that's nice. And... Uh, yeah, there we go. Trying to figure out how to focus on this thing. 105 minutes, 1983 film. It contains one Blu-ray and two DVDs. Uh, nice stuff. They come together for, uh, to, uh, for a funeral for uh, one of their college buddies. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like an earlier version of Friends, I guess. You know, these are this would be Friends. In fact, Friends might have got the idea from the Big Chill for all I know, other than the death part. Anyway, Big Chill... Also on my list of the top Criterion releases, uh, not that long ago they came out with this one, La Dolce Vita. This is Federico Fellini's, uh, one of his masterpieces, if not his masterpiece. Just a, uh, the, look at that cover, amazing. I haven't opened this one yet, I've certainly seen the film. Uh, quite a few extras on this, 4K digital transfer. Marcello Mastriani, Anita Ekberg, star in this. Yeah, it's a great, just a great flick. Yeah, it's a, it's a look at the uh, lifestyles of the rich in Rome and the seductive lifestyles. And, yeah, good stuff. La Dolce Vita, one of the top releases, I think, of this year from Criterion. Another one is The Freshman, Harold Lloyd. It's a silent film. Uh, I like to turn off the uh, sound completely on something like this and put on my own soundtrack. Sometimes that's a lot of fun knowing that it was made to be watched without any sound, but uh, his, his exploits at going to college and ultimately becoming a uh, a star, I guess, on the, on the uh, team, 1925, Harold Lloyd. Yeah, fair share of extras on this one, <clears throat> as you can see. Yeah, a lot of sh uh, additional shorts that are on here as well. He did. Yeah. 76 minutes it's in black and white but really nice release from criterion collection this one was on aaron's uh, also well, it should be aaron uh, aaron did a nice job explaining this one alfred hitchcock's foreign correspondence beautifully filmed uh the windmill scene is a classic there's a lot of classic scenes in this it's uh you know murder and intrigue and, and alfred hitchcock and how can you go wrong with alfred hitchcock you've got the extras there yeah, 120 minutes, 1940. 
good stuff there as well. <clears throat> Next up, Richard Lester's A Hard Day's Night, The Beatles. Uh, you know, for a lot of reasons, a big Beatles fan, <clears throat> a big music fan. And uh, this one, they did a great job on this. It's just wonderfully transferred. You've got the uh, 4K digital restoration, approved by Richard Lester, for goodness sakes. You get the uh, documentary, The Making of a Hard Day's Night, with an outtake performance on here. Uh, 2002 documentary about the film. And we're fortunate to still have some of these people alive that, that did this film, so... It's 87 minutes black and white. It's monaural and, st or st and stereo. 5.1 surround as well on the Blu-ray. And yeah, actually, it's a DTS HD Master Audio, as it says there in the middle. Just a great, great movie and uh, well-deserving of being on the list of the best releases of 2014. Of course, the movie's from 1964, but uh, two more here from... Uh, you really can't uh, can't overlook either of these. Uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, spine 729. I wasn't doing all the spines on these, but uh, the complete uh, Jacques Tati is the Blu-ray special edition. Um, yeah, just brilliant. Brilliant movies by uh, Tati. He, you know, he was really, um, Tati was really uh, revered by a lot of the other uh, directors. Most of his films are between 1949 and, believe it or not, 1974. Look at the extras though on this. Look at that. This includes uh, Jour de Fête, which is the oldest one. <clears throat> Monsieur Hulot's Holiday. Hulot is kind of his character. Mon Oncle. Uh, Playtime, Traffic, 1F, and Parade. Yeah, all of them are brilliant, uh, brilliant movies. Yeah, he's the bumbling, eternally umbrella-toting and pipe-smoking Monsieur Hulot. Yeah. He's uh he's a guy who's lost in the modern age of, of technology. He doesn't get it. And uh so Jacques Tati set and finally from the Criterion Collection, what is probably the release of the year uh, of from Criterion and uh, it was either this or the Tati set. Spine uh, seven thirteen on this set. And this is the essential, the French were big this year on the, on the criteria, uh, Jacques Demy, Lola Bay of Angels, The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, The Young Girls of Rochefort, Donkey Skin, and Un Chambre en Ville. Just, uh, these contain Blu-ray and DVD, so that's, that's huge also. Um, yeah, you've got just a, just a great cast on this, Catherine Deneuve. Who's uh, just a wonderful actress? Uh, is look at the actress on this thing too. <clears throat> Michelle Legrand uh, did the uh, did the music for the uh, musical that's on here. Just wonderful, wonderful music as you might expect. You know, very familiar songs too. But uh, you know, five point one. Your choice of 5.1 and or 2.0 uh, DTS HD Master audio soundtracks on the Blu-rays of the Umbrellas of Cherbourg, the Young Girls of Rochefort, Donkey Skin, and Schember on the Bill. A couple of documentaries, and you get a lot of, a lot of great stuff. Archival audio question uh, answer with Demi. Wonderful, wonderful stuff here, guys. And that is the essential Jacques Demi. You notice I keep a lot of these in plastic, just cut out the ends. I, did, I don't know, it just keeps the set nicer to me. So you see a lot of my sets, I just cut out the ends to slide the discs out, but leave the rest in place. <clears throat> just use a real sharp knife to do that, and it works out fairly well. All right, some other ones, I'm going to go fairly quickly with some of these. Um, but I like them. The Walking Dead Four Season, just, you know, it's a great show, and, and I think it's it's worthy of a release. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, surprising. I didn't see this in the theater, but... The 3D version because I got it for as cheap as the uh, as I would have gotten the other. I got it at Walmart, I think, for like 19 bucks. I guess still got to sell the 3D off. Anybody interested, let me know. Because I'll put it on eBay, but I'm going to sell it for, you know, I'll probably get 10 bucks for it on eBay, I'll guess. A great movie, though, if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah, just a lot of fun. 
really, really enjoyed the Guardians of the Galaxy. This one's personal favorite. You know, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I liked it. Lord of Illusions, Clive Barker's. Uh, just did uh, something on this one the other day, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But it's Scream Factory, so they give you the second cover. And it's probably the original color, uh, poster. I wouldn't know. I don't remember it. Uh, I just remember this when this came out. Really liked it. Uh, had it on DVD at one point. And I don't know what I did with it, but I no longer have it on DVD. I must have traded it in or something. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, not a ton of extras, but, you know, you got some extras on this thing. The big one's a commentary by Clyde Barker. The Gathering of Magic featurette. Yeah, Scott Bakula, uh, Fauka Johnson, isn't it? Good stuff there. Lord of Illusions. Um, yeah, you know, here's another one. These are some popular ones, I guess, but Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, I thought it was a good release, so... But there, there's the steel book, obviously. One that a lot of people probably didn't watch, but it's 2014, isn't it? Sure, felt like it was this year, but uh, well, my eyes are not that good. I can't spot the year real quickly on this, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, uh, earlier. It was 2014, was it? Not sure. Yeah, where's the year? Where's the year? Where's the year on this puppy? I'm pretty sure this was a this year release. It was up for last year's Oscar, but this year it got released. So, uh, Nebraska, a brilliant movie. Um, Alexander Payne directed it, and uh, just just really, really a great, uh, great movie. Great uh, father son bonding type movie. Great kind of a travel across the country type movie. Really, really liked it. So that's Nebraska. Thought it was a great release. Uh, another, I'm really big on superhero stuff. So, uh, there you go. X-Men Days of Future Past. Th think it's, if not the best X-Men, maybe the second best, but it's right up there. Great, great release. I liked, uh, liked her in the role of uh, Mystique. Better than I liked uh, Rebecca Romaine. Yeah. So, let's see. What else? Just a couple more left, guys. And then we we'll wrap this up in 15 minutes. And I never did figure out how to extend past the... 15 minutes. I have to really get better at that. Anyway, uh, Game of Thrones third season. Loving this. I got this special case on this one. Um, some, I didn't like something about the other the case it originally came with it, but the see-through case, whatever. But uh, I got this one here. Uh, complete third season, and what a season it was. The fourth season was even better, but uh, I'm telling you what, it was a great season. Uh, next is a little unusual one. That uh, I'm a big music fan, as I said before. Billy Joel and Matter of Trust, The Bridge to Russia. This is two CDs and a Blu ray. Uh, this is the deluxe version, comes with a thick book. Uh, for a lot of reasons, this one's on here. First of all, it's the last concert, it's the only concert available of Billy Joel in his prime. All the other concerts, he was well past his prime. They had to change the keys to you know lower range because he couldn't hit those high notes anymore. Uh, he had a full head of hair. He was he was uh, jumping off pianos before he had knee problems and weight problems, and he was still married. Uh, Alexa was just a child, and, and Christy Brinkley was his you know was his bride, and uh, he went to Russia and, and really changed a lot of things over there. You know they, they used to have to sneak rock music around in Russia, and Billy Joel went over there and ended a tour, and and you got some great tunes on here, and he only released two albums after this concert in 1987. Um, River of Dreams and uh, something else. So almost all of his great songs are on here. Really, really great uh, concert uh, video. I may go over 15 minutes. I have to figure out how to do that. See the songs on here, though. Great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, next, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Fabulous release on the digital book. It's a Capra collection. Hope they come out with a lot of these. Decent special features on it. Including five featurettes. So I'm really liking this. It's a great movie. Um, and last but not least, in my opinion, the release of the year. And that is. Yep, you got it. Batman, the complete t television series. Wonderfully done. Um, you know, a lot of people have done boxes on this. I'm not going to open it and stuff, but there's just a ton of crap in this. It's great. The Batmobile, the playing cards. Uh, the the uh, transfer is great. I like the audio. I have no complaints about this one. I waited forever for it. So Batman, the TV series, the uh, in my opinion, the release of the year. That's it, guys.